following 17 years available, Audi has sounded the passing chime on the AAW12. Audi R&D honcho Peter Mertens, a similar executive who recommended the finish of the R8, told car and driver at the Geneva Motor Show that the new 2019 A8 will be the last establishment of the 6.0-liter 12-chamber. That won't influence our market since the Audi resigned the W12 year in 2017, and the motor won't return in the 2019 model. Our best tent will be the A860 with a 4.0-liter, twin-turbo V8 making 460 pull and 486 pound-feet of torque. The W12 isn't dead yet, Audi gets the motor from Bentley, and Bentley has no plans to stop it. Acquainted with the market in 2001 for Europe and Asia in the original A8, we didn't get the W12 until 2005, in the second Gen Luxo vehicle. In those days, the crackpot engine developed from the VR6 in the Volkswagen Corrado made 444 pull and 430 pound-feet of torque. The present Audi W12 remains at 585 horsepower and 627 pounds to foot, be tuned from the 633 horsepower and 620 pounds to foot it makes in the Bentley Continental GT. The killer has booked a sound piece of business at the VW Group as of late, what with the coming end of the Beetle, the R8, and this utilization of the W12. Inward and outer components make it likely we'll be hearing that hatchet cut significantly more metal, soon. The organizations have to meet certifiable emanations targets and the new worldwide harmonized light vehicle test procedure WLTP, overspending on improvement for Garishevs like the e-tron GT, implies moderate dealers, even radiances, won't get much time to dither about. Also, as per CD, the V10 could skip out before the W12 if the coming twin-turbo R8 V6 gobbles up all the V10's lunch. I'm not going to